Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Laura Inga, cardiovascular surgeon, and I will guide you through today's topic, cardiopulmonary bypass, CPV, also known as a heart lung machine. In this video, we will explore what a cardiopulmonary bypass is, how it works, and why it is so important for cardiovascular surgeries. Whether you are a healthcare professional, a patient, or simple someone interested in cardiovascular health, this video aims to provide valuable insights into the heart lung machine. So let's dive in and discover more about one of the most important aspects of cardiovascular surgery. Before we go deeper, it's important to remind you how our body normally functions to maintain its essential processes. The superior and inferior vena cavae collect the oxygenated blood from the body and transport it to the right side of the heart. From here, it enters the lungs to be oxygenated via the pulmonary artery. After this process, the oxygenated blood returns to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary veins, reaches the aorta, and then it is distributed through the body. The blood moves inside the heart due to the contraction and relaxation of the heart muscles, creating a rhythmic movement known as the heartbeat, which is crucial for pumping blood to the lungs and the rest of the body. However, during certain surgeries, it is necessary to stop the heart completely so the cardiovascular surgeon can operate safely without the discomfort of a beating heart and the presence of blood in the surgical field. The professional responsible for handling and correctly operating the CPB is a perfusionist. La labor de perfusionista dentro del quirófano de cirugía cardíaca se ciñe al manejo de la circulación extracorpórea. Esta técnica consiste en la derivación de toda la sangre venosa hacia un dispositivo que llamamos máquina de corazón pulmón, en el cual toda la sangre recibida, oxigenada y devuelta al organismo a través de la aorta. De esta manera, si la sangre venosa la hacemos que drene hacia la máquina antes de que llegue al corazón y la devolvemos ya oxigenada una vez pasado este, lo que hemos conseguido es bypasear el corazón, es decir, puentearlo. De esa manera, suplimos la función tanto cardíaca como pulmonar. Depending on the surgery, one or two venous cannulas may be used, which can be placed into the inferior vena cava or both superior and inferior vena cava. The arterial cannula can be placed into the femoral artery, axillary artery, or most commonly on the ascending aorta. Componentes principales de esta máquina consta de unas cánulas, unos tubos que comunican esas cánulas con el dispositivo, con la máquina y un reservorio donde la sangre es almacenada, donde la sangre es acumulada, la sangre venosa que es conducida hacia una bomba. Esa bomba lo que hace es impulsar esa sangre venosa hacia una membrana de oxigenación extracorpórea y una vez que la sangre ya impulsada pasa por esa membrana, sale totalmente oxigenada al gasto cardíaco que el paciente necesita. The oxygenated blood then flows back into the arterial cannula and it is distributed through the body, returning to the venous cannula and the process repeats. Once the CPB is established and everything is under control, the aorta is cross-clamped and we deliver a cardioplegic fluid into the coronary arteries to stop the heart. This makes the CPB essential and safe, allowing us to operate while the pump maintains circulation and oxygenation for the patient. After the cardiovascular surgery is performed, it is time to disconnect the cannulas from the patient. The anesthesiologist, perfusionist, and cardiovascular surgeons work together to care for the patient during this crucial moment. The cross clamp of the aorta is removed, and the oxygenated blood from the heart lung machine flows through the arterial cannula back into the heart, waking the cardiac muscles and restarting the heartbeat, which increases the blood pressure. It is important to ensure proper contraction of the heart before fully disconnecting the CPB. To achieve this, an additional cannula is placed into the pulmonary vein to prevent overload of blood in the heart. 
After a few minutes of confirming proper heart function with a transesophageal echocardiogram and direct visualization of cardiac contractility, we begin to reduce the blood supply from the heartland machine through the cannulas until it is finally safe to remove them, concluding the CPV. As you can see, CPV is crucial for many heart surgeries, allowing precise control of blood flow and oxygenation. This illustrates how medical technology collaborates with surgical procedures to keep patients stable and safe during critical interventions. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this information has enhanced your understanding of cardiovascular health. If you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more informative content on cardiovascular health. Remember, understanding your heart is crucial and we are here to support you every step on the way. Take care and stay heart healthy.